One really useful feature of my CleverTouch Impact and Impact Plus screens is the ability to do screen mirroring or screen casting in class. Uh, just allowing me to connect uh, my other classroom devices to the screen and show their uh, screens on my large CleverTouch screen at the front of the classroom. I have my uh, code up here, which is from my free CleverShare 2 app. So just go to your app store, uh, type in Clever CleverShare 2, and you can download the app for free to your devices. If I tap on the number, I can tap minimize to, or minimize or mini size to reduce that. Tap on the icon again, tap on normal size, that will bring that back to view. So I pick up my device that I have in classroom, whether that's a Windows 10 laptop, um, a PC, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, or a, a tablet device, open up my CleverShare app and tap in the six digit number that appears on the screen. If you're using an iOS device, um, or a Chromebook, then we support the function of, of being able to cast directly from those without using the CleverShare app. Here on my iPad here, I have uh, the screen mirroring, which I just, once I pop the code in, I just turn on my screen mirroring, choose my CleverShare screen, and this will allow me to show my iPad screen on the large class uh, uh, screen at the front. I also have an Android tablet here. So again, I pop in the code and you can see straight away, I'm now showing the content from my Android tablet on the screen as well. So once you've connected your devices to the screen and we can connect over 50 devices to the screen at any one point, and we can show six of those screens at any one time on the Impact and the Impact Plus screens. If I turn on my camera app, you can see straight away I've got a live visualizer. Really nice if I'm in a classroom situation and I want to get a close up of, of an experiment or if I want to have a look at some work. And from there it's really useful if I turn on or take a photograph, I can show a photograph of some pupils work on the screen. Likewise, if I have another device that's also showing pupil work, what we can then do is we've suddenly got a situation where we have two pupils work on the screen at the same time. If I put my two fingers on the screen here and pull my interactive pen tool back to my fingers. I then have the ability to use my annotation tools over the top. So really nice if you're in a classroom situation and you want to do some live marking, you can see some work that the pupils are doing on the screen by casting from their devices, whether that be a tablet, a device, or a photograph of some work that you've done. And then from there, you can do some nice compare and contrast activities where you can point out what's good about one piece of work, how another piece of work could be improved, etc. And you can just do that live marking on the screen in front of the pupils. The nice thing about that is you can then share that content back directly with the children in a number of ways. So from here, I can obviously use my, bring up my red pen here. I could use my floppy disk icon and save my children's work with my annotations on it to the screen, or I can use my QR code and my users in the room can scan that and they can take away a copy of that before they begin their editing process or their improvement process. And here I have my floppy disk, uh, sorry, my cloud icon, where I can also save a screenshot of my annotations up to my cloud device for sharing on another screen or for printing off. So a really nice function that you can have where you can share those devices. Um, we can also make one of these screens more dominant just by using our full screen icon. So if we wanted to zoom in and hone in on one of those pieces of uh, work, we can do that. And again, we can do that with either screen to make that more dominant on the screen. Likewise, I can also disconnect uh, from there if I wanted to and just have one of my devices showing um, on the screen and very quickly go back to a situation where I have my live visualizer on here. Okay, so that's uh, in order to share our device screens with our clever touch screen at the front of the classroom. Obviously, as a teacher, what you might not want is you might not want your pupils just to be pushing content up to the screen without your permissions. So from the clever share icon, if we tap on the number, we tap on view the main interface. Just in the bottom left hand corner, we have our little menu. By tapping on the menu, I have the option to switch mode. By tapping on switch mode, any devices uh, that are connected to the screen will now be disconnected. So if I now try to connect to the clever touch screen, uh, I need to put in the device in the corner. What this is going to allow me to do is to control who shows their screen. You can now see that my iPad is connected. If I turn on my screen mirroring, you can see now in the bottom right hand corner, it's given me a request box where I have to request uh, uh, permission in order to show my device on the screen. Just means that as a teacher or an educator, you then have control over who is showing their content on the screen before it actually gets flashed up on the screen. Just as a little extra security measure for you as a teacher.